Good evening, everyone. Kimberly Vaughn with Shopping Hungry. And I thought I would give a little bit of background on to, as to why uh, my YouTube channel is called Shopping Hungry. When I was born, I was born a second daughter to my mother. She had a total of six kids. She raised seven. And I was number two. Um, she had three girls with my real father, and then she had the rest of the children with my stepfather. So I was born into poverty. I was also born into abuse. My mother was abused by my dad, and he I don't think he abused us children, but when she remarried my stepfather, not only did he abuse her, but we also was abused by him. We were physically abused and verbally abused. And so I grew up my whole life in abuse. So I turned around when I became old enough to actually leave home. Actually, I left home before I was old enough. I was not even 16 yet when I decided to go off and live my own life. And my mom allowed me to because she was afraid I was going to end up dead somewhere because I'd ran away from home to try to escape the abuse. And uh, she allowed me, she basically uh, let me be an adult at, at uh, 16. So the whole premise of the title Shopping Hungry is, it is a way of thinking. It's stinking thinking that creates this um, generational curse. So I believe that we are all born, you know, into some curses that Satan has uh entered into our bloodlines through the flesh. He is known as the snake. He is a viper. And even Jesus re referred to the Pharisees who he said, your father's the devil as being viperous. So that is a resemble of what a snake does when it bites you. It sh if, if it's a poisonous snake, a deadly snake, they have venom and they shoot the venom inside you and it goes, it travels through your uh, bloodstream. So that is like a um, premise for Satan being the snake and shooting venom uh, curses into your bloodline. So I was raised by my mother. She was an amazing mother. She, I love her. I miss her dearly. She's been gone for a number of years, but my mom always made sure we was clean. She kept us fed, but we struggled with poverty. We grew up in a very uh, impoverished uh, life. My dad, we never had stability. He traveled. We traveled a lot for work. There was times that we we lived in houses that were that were abandoned, condemned. Um, there was good times and there was bad times. So it wasn't always bad. We've had nice homes, but it was a struggle. It was an up and down, as well as the physical and verbal abuse. There was this poverty. So when I got old enough to leave home, or when I left home before I was even old enough. I ended up marrying somebody who was extremely abusive to me, verbally and physically. So I moved on from him to the next person, the next person. So I ended up going through a series of relationships that were not only just physical and verbal abuse, but it was also mental abuse. And I noticed that there was a pattern that I just kept following. I kept ended up with these same types of people no matter what. And when I became an adult, I'm not talking a physical adult, but an adult in the spirit. And I first had went into a church and um, asked, you know, had a conversation with a pastor. And he, and, and he asked me, he goes, so I always have women ask me, you know, what is it about them? They're always attracting these types of guys. And the Holy Spirit told me, he said, well, you guys are shopping hungry. And so shopping hungry, usually when people think, oh, but I'm, I'm shopping hungry, they think about going to the grocery store. They haven't had a good meal. They end up with a shopping cart full of junk. And that's what the definition is. Well, my definition of shopping hungry or the Holy Spirit's definition is a person who is not filled. They are empty. Now, we're not talking about an emptiness of the stomach, like you're hungry because you haven't ate a meal. We're talking about empty of the Spirit of God. If the Holy Spirit is in you and dwells in you, it will keep you full. The longer you spend time being full in the Holy Spirit, 
the less likely you are to go out and make choices that you would make if you was shopping hungry. Because I spent my greater half of my life going out here shopping hungry. And just like if I was going to the grocery store and end up with a bag of chips, maybe a candy bar, something that tastes good but isn't good for me, I may feel good for a moment because it gives me that instant boost of energy. It makes me have a little sense of being full, but it quickly burns off. It quickly goes away, and I'm back to stage one. I'm back being hungry again, except for this time, it's even worse. And we usually end up uh, overeating by doing that. We actually end up putting in more calories than we need, and we are putting the wrong things in our body. So... As I grew in Christ, I realized that the more I was full with the Holy Spirit, my discernment got really good. I got to where I would I would see things in people that I used to not notice. And instead of like picking a somebody to be in a relationship that may look good, maybe tasted good, and I'm not talking about physically tasting them. I'm just talking about like tasted good, the pal being around them, you know a bo ego boost or whatever it was about them um, that was a temporary thing because once I got into the relationship with this person, spent time with them, I would realize that they would either have toxic traits or they would be abusive physically, mentally, verbally, or they had, you know, problems. I started noticing that now that I'm full with the Holy Spirit, my decisions are a lot different than what they used to be. Now, I don't just look at the physical. You know, the Lord showed me one time, I was sitting out in the backyard of an apartment, com apartment not complex, a building I lived in. There was four apartments in this building, and it was in 2020. And I'm sitting out back, and, he, and there was this beautiful tree. I mean, it was beautiful. And what made me look at that tree is there were squirrels in it. I was feeding the squirrels, and he said, what do you think about this tree, Kim? I said, it's beautiful. He said, yeah, it is. He said, so what could you do with this tree? I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, use your imagination. I said, well, if I was a kid, I could put a tire swing in it, put a swing up in this tree. I could build a tree house in it. It it would be great for climbing. I mean, this tree gives me shade. It is beautiful. And I get to enjoy the squirrels that are living in it. He said, okay. He said, is there something missing? And I looked and I thought, well, I don't see anything missing. He goes, where's the fruit? Where is your nourishment? Can this tree provide nourishment? I realized that although this tree was big and strong, provided shade, I could make a tree house in it. I could hang a tree swing in it. I could enjoy the beauty of its leaves. I could enjoy, enjoy the squirrels that were jumping from branch to branch. It didn't give me substance. Everything that it gave me would not feed me. It did not have any fruit. He said, from now on, when you go out and you choose somebody, judge them by their fruit, not their branches. And that stuck with me. So now that I've matured in Christ, I've got the Holy Spirit in me. I do not shop hungry anymore. Thus, my title, Shopping Hungry. I created this YouTube channel originally to help serve people to, to help educate them on how to go through life and not shop hungry. This was mainly geared towards women, but this also applies to men because men shop hungry too. But I wanted women to realize that these generational curses that has been injected into your bloodline, either from your mother, your grandmother, somewhere down the line where you keep choosing these same types of men who are not feeding you. Because a man that you are with should lead you. If he leads you into sin, or if a woman leads a man into sin, they're not from God. Because somebody that would absolutely sleep with you, or make out with you, or do it, cause you to drink, do drugs, I don't care what it is. If it's sinful behavior, if it takes you away from God, then you know that they were sent on assignment from the enemy, which I spoke in a previous video. These flesh suits, what these meat suit people walking around with these demonic characters attached to them to come out and seek, kill, and destroy because they work for yesterday, the devil, and that's their mission. And if, and if you have, there we go with the light again. 
if you have a strong, if you are a chosen one, like I know I'm a chosen one. If you are anointed and chosen by God for an assignment, the attack is even worse. That's why I've been attacked since the day I was born. Ever since I've been born, I've been under attack. And thankfully, all the things I've been through, Christ was with me through everything. So I was able to overcome those things. But I just wanted to give a quick uh, before I go into work, I'm getting ready to go in now. It's time for me to go in. I just want to give a quick recap on what shopping hungry is. Maybe you can recognize there's moments in your life when you shopped hungry. It could, it might not even be in a relationship, but you know, this is mostly what this is about. It's about the people, places, and things that we allow into our lives because we are empty and void and we just try to fill them with something. Just get some substance in there really quick, not looking at the calories. Not looking at the nutrition, you know, not looking at the downsides of the chemicals that are in it. We just go ahead and ingest it. So what we need to do is, is we need to have our discernment on, on high. And we need to look at what this person is producing. Do they produce fruit? You will know this tree by its fruit. I hope this has helped someone on here. If it has... By the grace of God, be my friend, like and subscribe. I promise these videos are going to get better and better. I'm just new at this. I tried it once before and failed. I do not want to fail again. I'm doing this because God has called me to this platform to help each and every one of you. If you like what you are hearing, if it helps you in any way, then like and subscribe. If, if, you, if you don't want to subscribe, at least like the video. Share it with someone who may need it. Because this may end up not in your life and you may not need it. But maybe there's somebody else that does. And um, I promise, you know, that I promise to give you better and better content. And we are going to go on a journey of healing and a journey of overcoming. And there will be growth and prosperity in your life. And I promise it. I promise it. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Lord, my friend who is on here, Lord, who came to this page, Lord, I pray that what I give them, Lord, it nourishes them, Lord, that they can notice that shopping hungry is not who they are or what they've been called to be, Lord, but they are to be full with you and the Holy Spirit, Lord, that as we walk this journey together on this platform, Lord, that you enrich their lives and my life. I pray that what you give me, Lord, is something that will help someone out there in their own walk. That by my testimony, that they can see that things that they have been through is part of their own testimony. I pray, Lord, that you cover each and every person on this page. I pray that you I pray that you watch over them. And I pray that no weapon formed against them will prosper in the name of Jesus. I love you, I love you, and I love you. Amen. Okay, guys, I love you. I hope you have a blessed night, and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.